I'd been I've been retranslating the Psalms for years. Um, Psalms might be my favorite part of the Bible, but their poetry and the Hebrew the Hebrew language is a very um, it's a storytelling language, but also very rhythmical. And uh, I love the the sound and the rhythms of it. And so, just for my own pleasure, I'd been doing this for, oh, for years, actually. Not really ever thinking about um, anything beyond that, except once in a while I'd send it to a periodical, and sometimes they would publish it. Um, but the thing that really got this started, I think, uh, on a trajectory was there was a, there was a kind of a financial downturn in the early 80s. And, um, and all my congregation, many of them had come out of Baltimore to get rid of uh, the crime and the segregation and um, stuff. And, uh, and then, you know, the, and there were riots all over the country in, in the cities and in Baltimore. And um, so I'm, my, I find my congregation is they're buying guns, uh, double locking their doors. Um, one very mild guy uh, had a big wrench like this in his car right beside the seat uh, to fend off anybody who tried to get in with him. Um, and I thought, you know, this is awful. You're Presbyterians. Don't you know anything about the grace of God, um, security in God? Um, so um, I thought, well, I've, I've just got to start over. I've been preaching to these people for 10, 12 years, and uh, they're just not getting it. So I took Galatians as my text. I thought, I, I'm, going to, I'm going to just saturate them in Galatians, because I was angry. And Galatians is Paul's angriest letter. And, um, and I'm going to have a Bible study on Sunday mornings with the adults for on Galatians. And then after a year of that, I'm going to preach a series of sermons on Galatians, and then we'll see what comes of it. Well, I started out, I had about 14 or 15 people in my class, and uh, I would always prepare an urn of coffee, and we had paper cups, and uh, so I was trying to I was trying to get them to hear Galatians the way Paul wrote it, the kind of emphasis of his language, the way he used the metaphors. And um, so the, after two or three Sundays, um, all they did was just sit around stirring coffee, stirring sugar into their coffee. And uh, I came home and told Jan, they're not getting it. I'm going to teach them Greek. They, if they read it in Greek, they'll get it. And she said, yeah, that'll empty the place out pretty fast. <laughs> so I thought, well, OK, I won't teach him Greek. I'll teach him to think Greek the way Paul does it. So I trans started translating. And I would translate a page and Xerox it and pass it around. And we'd talk about the Now would you say this in your language, the way you talk to your kids, the way you talk to your uh, employers. Um, and so they'd, we'd fool around with this stuff and we'd make editorial changes and get the language Pauline, poetic, angry. Um, and then I put this all together after we'd spent this year together. And uh, I thought, you know, this this is pretty good. <laughs> this is what I've been trying to do. And um, so I published this book. Uh, and I, I think it was InterVarsity, wasn't it, who, printed, who did that? Yeah, the book Traveling Light. Traveling Light, yeah. 